Um, this is uh, some, there's quite a serious uh, thing we've got to talk about before the show starts tonight. Obviously, it's serious, even although my horse is smiling. <laughs> <laughs> He's in great pain. It seems that some, uh, some supermarkets in the United Kingdom have been selling uh, burgers, and in the DNA of the burgers, because somebody tested them, um, there's horse DNA. You may well owe. Oh. <laughs> and uh, we're outraged. <laughs> because even though I'm standing here with a horse, if you tested any of us here, there would be no horse DNA. <laughs> and sometimes as I travel around these United States going from town to town solving crimes, I... <laughs> People say to me, Craig, why, why are you with a horse and a gay ro robot skeleton? <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll tell you why, because my friends are my friends, no matter what they look like or what their DNA is or whether or not they've been served in a burger or not. <laughs> are you saying, Craig, that your friends are a pretend horse and a gay robot skeleton? They're the only friends I have. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> Don't get horse DNA on me, though. <laughs> I love you too, man. I love you, man. <laughs> so tonight we're going to do the best show we can do. <laughs> Which really isn't that good. But we'll try. We're not going to really try that hard either. <laughs> Look, it's just going to be the same crap. <laughs> All right, I warned you. with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Quietly. Now, I think we all know that's more than I deserve. So sit down, relax. I'm very grateful, of course, for that completely genuine, warm... <laughs> I love a warm hand on my opening, but I am... Um... Yeah, you're coming out strong, Coming man. out strong. Coming out strong. <laughs> Coming out, yeah. swinging with the dirty. That's right. Yeah. Swinging with the dirty. Oh yeah. Do you ever see that movie? Yeah, I remember. That's that a film. great movie. <laughs> swinging with the dirty. It's a movie that I accidentally wrote and produced. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> it is actually. It's uh. A big uh, happy birthday to the, uh, one of the stars of Two and a Half Men, Ashton Kutcher, who's 35 today. He's much younger than his co-star. Uh, not John Cryer, I mean the kid. The kid's like 50 now or something. <laughs> Looks good for his age, though. Do we have a picture of the cast of Two and a Half Men? There you are. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> hey, maybe that's an idea, CBS. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Also, good news today, porn star Ron Jeremy is recovering nicely after a recent heart aneurysm. This is nice. While Ron was in hospital, all his co-stars chipped in and sent him a dozen long-stemmed dildos. <laughs> so, see what I did? Yeah. See yeah. what I did? Yeah. Well, you're right. Ron, yeah. no, it's not flowers. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. That, that was right. That was like a late night thing right there. I That's said something and then I said it was nice. I said, oh, and is he just going to say something nice? And then, oh, joke at the end. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Turned it around. Yeah. Turned it around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that Sir Paul McCartney was in New Orleans for the Super Bowl? Apparently, he gave a mini concert in the middle of a streetcar and no one recognized him. They thought he was just a street musician. I can't believe that. I would have recognized him. We have a picture of Paul McCartney on a New Orleans streetcar. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> It's like we're not even trying anymore, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> now, here's good news if you're into the late-night douche business, and I am. I, uh, I, uh, there's a new report came out today by economists. Oh, boy. Yeah! <laughs> the, the list of the world's most expensive cities. It turns out the most expensive city in the world is Tokyo, Japan. And when the news broke, there was a big parade in San Francisco. Tokyo I didn't have any response. <laughs> San Francisco's like, parade! <laughs> But they did unveil their new uh, tourism, tourism slogan, the tourism, you know, it's, uh, it's a thing. It's a word that I use. <laughs> tourism. Anyway, the slogan is this, Tokyo will leave you brokeo. Uh, <laughs> now, I've never been to Tokyo, but this show is actually, we're on in Japan, we're very popular in Japan. I know. <laughs> I think the show loses something in translation, though. You know what they call this show in Japan? Super happy fun time hour with robot and old man. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, it is right. Do we have that ad that they run in Japanese TV? Look at this. Super happy fun time hour with Robert and Old Man. Wow. Too much. Wow. There you go. That's the, uh, that's the promo they run on the Japanese CBS yeah. for us there. Well, I, I guess they left out the horse because, you know, they ate him. Eat horse. That's the no, eat horse. Wait, take, take, it knock it off, meat. man. That's knock what... it off. Da I'll buy yeah, it. you do it. To... Is it? Yeah, you do it. Yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go to Tokyo. It's it's just it's it's, it's not just expensive. It, it's the one of the world's uh, most crowded cities. So it's a city full of people with thick wallets and they're all stuck together. It makes me pain for my days when I was a Dickensian pickpocket. <laughs> Sorry, sir, it's what I had to do to survive on the streets. <laughs> All right, now, you go along then, get me some long slam dildos, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I supposed to find them on Christmas Eve, Mr Scrooge? Where? I think you know what to do to get them roses. <laughs> I didn't understand what you said. Did you just eat a horse? <laughs> yeah, it was quite delicious, it was, yeah? <laughs> Do you know the second most expensive is in, uh... <laughs> The second, the second... Uh, look, no, it's a joke, man, lighten up. It's a joke. What the hell? Lighten up. <laughs> How come you're angry at me, but you're still smiling? <laughs> I didn't know he could shrug. Did you know he could shrug? Yeah. Anyway, the second most expensive city in the world is also in Japan. The third and fourth most expensive, Sydney and Melbourne in Australia. Australians are getting very wealthy. The people there are now so wealthy, they don't carry wallets around with them. They just have their kangaroos jump behind them. <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and their pouches are full of all the goods. It's like, good eye, mate. My kangaroo's pouch is stuffed with money and me boomerang and me hat with the little dangly corks. And... <laughs> And me baby and me dingo keep them separate, you don't want them. <laughs> the baby and the dingo getting mixed up. <laughs> what accent is this, Jeff? Any idea? I have no idea. Yeah, it's a sort of Dickensian street urchin who went to Australia for his holidays, I think. <laughs> uh, why don't you go on a walk about then and give me some long stem dildos in, eh? <laughs>
Let it go, man, with the trying to keep it classy. Oh, uh, no, no, don't. Some of the cities on today's most expensive list didn't surprise me at all. For instance, Paris was number eight. The people in France were very annoyed today. Then they heard about the list. They were like... <laughs> yeah. There you go. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Frenchies. Boom. <laughs> Just do not raise the price of soft cheese. That's all. <laughs> that Australian accent right no, there? No, that was, that was good. It was French. <laughs> Oslo in Norway is number five on the list. Apparently, it's very expensive there to buy the um, umlauts. Uh, that, that's what they have in Norway. Umlaut. Umlauts are these uh, little dots they put above vowels. Umlauts are also what they call their testicles. <laughs> <laughs> you will often hear them say, My favorite food is the Denver umlaut. <laughs> Craig, why is your Norwegian speaking German? Is this German or Norwegian? No, that's, that sounds German, yeah. No, it sounds a little German, perhaps. No. It's a German person who went to live in Norway. It was one of the founding members of Kraftwerk went to live in Norway. Yeah, he prefers it there. I like it I... better there. It's my umlauts are more comfortable. <laughs> we, we don't serve French umlauts, though, I tell you that. <laughs> Explain. Well, I was just making a political statement. <laughs> See, uh, From the Second World yeah, War. Yeah, the Second World War. From the Second yeah, World yeah, War. Right. Yeah, was... I see. Yeah. Well, you've killed the atmosphere in the room. <laughs> Everyone's now, th apart from the horse, is still mad about that thing in there. <laughs> Let it go, man. Let it go. Come on, can release your tension. Release it. Come on, relax. <laughs> Did you just go to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Days out of here, Jeff. All right. All right. Well, super happy fun time hour with Robot and Old Man after this. <laughs> Tonight, things have gone crazy, right, Jeff? They're out of control. Out of control, right, Secretariat? Things have gone crazy. They've gone so crazy, I'm shouting for absolutely no reason, right, Jeff? No, yeah, I can't stop shouting. Oh, it's almost like we're trying to create a false sense of excitement because there's nothing really to be excited about. <laughs> right, Jeff? Well, you, you, wow, that was, that was impressive. Oh, you gave the game away there. Oh, you man, that, you changed your tone. Yeah, Let's yeah. talk like British TV announcers. Oh, yeah, that's All true. right. Yeah. Well, we start talking like this, and then the sentence ends like this. <laughs> Jeff, how did you feel after your recent trip to the United States of America? <laughs> well, I had quite a lovely time. Did you visit the city of Las Vegas, Nevada? <laughs> yes, I certainly did, and it was wonderful. <laughs> We're starting to sound a bit like Robin Leach. <laughs> do you remember Robin Leach used to do champagne wishes and caviar dreams? Like styles of the rich and famous. Famous, yeah. <laughs> you know, that was the old days, really, lifestyles of the rich and famous. Now it's just they have reality shows, the rich and famous, don't you? You can yeah. see, you can see the, in, the inner workings of the lifestyle. You can see the inner workings of the pants of the, the rich and famous. In, in the pants, no less. Yeah, all I'm saying is that, you know, there's no mystery anymore, you know? There's no, like, oh, they live in a mansion and you can't see inside. You can see inside. There's a, there's a film crew in there showing you their underpants. <laughs> what have we become, Craig? We've become ridiculous media constructs, Jeff. The very thing we are mocking, we have now become. We are pathetic. <laughs> we are super happy fun time hour with Robot and Old Man. Yeah! Yes, we are. Play the super happy fun time Robot and Old Man. Play it, super I say. Happy fun time old man. Yeah! <laughs> All right. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Well, let me tell you, uh, tonight's tweet mail is brought to you by the House of Pain and Pancakes, where you can get a delicious Denver omelet for just $1.99, yeah. Wait, you were talking in sort of Denver, Norwegian, Australian, and then yes. you went like this at the end of the sentence. I did, I did. That's amazing that you did all of those things together. The House of Pain and Pancakes. 
Let's do our own jingle tonight, Jeff. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. Tweets and emails. <laughs> Tweets and emails. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who needs a band? <laughs> we do very badly. <laughs> This is from Marcy in Atlanta, in Georgia. Have you ever been there? Beautiful place. Oh, one of the great Georgian metropolises. You, you said it. <laughs> uh, Marcy says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, could you please show your pet horse shaking his head slowly? It really mesmerizes my three-year-old and helps him fall asleep. Certainly, put on some creepy music as well, would you? <laughs> All right, that's enough. Now go to sleep. <laughs> this is from Magdalena in St. Petersburg in Florida. Now, I've never, I've never been there, but I have been to St. Petersburg in Russia. Have in you ever Russia. been there? Oh, yeah. Oh, have you? Beautiful, beautiful. Unbelievable place. city. St. Petersburg in Russia. And, uh, you go from street to street, and all the buildings look like wedding cakes. They do. It's like there are wedding cakes everywhere. It's, it's almost like some Tsar of the Russias came through there at some point and went, I think we need more cakiness. <laughs> I think, I think that historically, I think that's very... That's accurate. what happened. I think Ivan the Terrible went to St. Petersburg and said, a little more cake, I think. <laughs> that's how he talked. Is that right? Yeah. He wasn't really Ivan the Terrible at all. He was Ivan the Sort of Reasonable. <laughs> Ivan like, the Sort oh, of Reasonable. I think reasonable. a little more cake would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is on television right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We have one minute and we've got to do all of these. So let's, we're going to have to do a speed run. Do your Liam Neeson thing. There's no time. There's quickly, no time. Quickly, quickly. We're going to do all the things. There's all no right. time. This is from Magdalena St. Peter's Road. Dear Craig and Jeff, cream soda or root beer? For me, root beer. Jeff? Uh, cream soda. Cream soda. Uh, Sergei and Mokba. Oh, wait a minute. Moscow. This is from Moscow. They say Mokba because that's how they spell it in the Cyrillic alphabet, but someone's put it in here in the... Oh, God, I don't have time for this. Anyway. <laughs> Dear Craig, would you ever come to Moscow to make your program? Yes. I'll come there and work. You give me my own horse, my gay robot pal, I'm there. <laughs> and you can have your own Russian super happy fun time hour with robot and old man. Play that thing again. Super happy fun time hour with robot and old man. This is from uh, Melinda in South Philly who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, how, guy, how, come you, how come you guys never enjoy any quiet time together anymore? Oh, we hardly have time for this, but all right, quick quiet time. An extremely talented and beautiful actress. Her new film, Identity Thief, is in theatres on Friday. Take a look. <laughs> Amanda Peet, everybody. Amanda Peet. I'm so sorry. Did the horse harass you on the no, way out? Do you know there are several fans inside the horse? In different parts? Yes, because sometimes the Sweaty horse o overheats and they had to put fans inside. You didn't know that about these horses? It's a special. It's an Appaloosian fan horse. Oh. How are you? You look great. I love this thing. Here. Oh, thank you. What's this? This is, I just wanted to ask you about this. What this is it? Is some, somebody came to my dressing room. Came to your dressing room? Yes. <laughs> Came to my dressing room. Right, yes. <laughs> is that Norwegian? <laughs> what? what have you got? What this is, is it? This is going to go really badly, I can already tell. <laughs> 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 
Guest mug colors. They give you, you a list of colors for Come on. You, do you not know about this? I really didn't know about this. I just wanted you to explain the meaning behind this. Uh, well, you know, this is a list of different colors uh, for the mugs <laughs> for the guests on the show. <laughs> Please, don't applaud because you feel awkward. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, did you make a choice? No, because I thought it was so preposterous. Preposterous? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you come here with your Downton Abbey words and say things are preposterous? You rapscallion. Jeff, did you hear this? I say the very nerve of you, young lady. The very nerve that you would say preposterous to us. Why? Listen, I've you... never been so confrontabund. Listen, you gay skeleton, stay out of it. Oh, I How say, was... you're lucky that I can't walk or I'd come over there and slap you on your behind. <laughs> I say. Yeah, yeah. A, I, I think she'd rather enjoy that. I'd like that very much. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, that's enough of talking like that. Tell me about your film. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just realised I've torn up the cards you brought out. Can I do I, the thing yeah. where you throw it back? Yeah, yeah, like oh. that. Well, well, you, you want to did it, yeah. Oh, well, we got more of these. Oh, look. Okay. Here, here's, look, here's, <laughs> it's a, here's the two people who are on the show tonight, in case I forget. <laughs> Look, there's you, right there. All right, you want to tear that out? All right. Do you want to tear this one up? Yes, I really around? do. Okay, go ahead then. <laughs> but she's just... All right, there you go. <laughs> there. Feels good, doesn't it? It really does. Feels good. Feels like you're tearing up the convention really... of the, the genre in which you're operating, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, yes. I like that. Tell me about the film. Film looks good. Uh, the film is, is uh, was really fun. Awesome. Right. So, how are you doing then? Uh... <laughs> no, it does look good. I'm actually looking forward to this. All these people are in this film. I like you. I like you the most. So sweet, but Melissa McCarthy and Jason are really. Yeah, if they were here, I would say to them, I like them that's the most. What I uh, that's how show business works. Yeah, no, I know. You like the person most who's in front yes, of you. You are my favorite late night talk show person. I'm not a late night. I see. I disagree with that. I'm nope. not a late night talk show person. You're the president of Australia. Yes, exactly. I am. <laughs> no. How have you been otherwise? How's your lovely husband? I like him. Yeah, you like him a little too much. I feel. What are you threatened. talking about? I just think, I just think he's a very talented, you know, handsome writer. Well, he's, we have you know, a lot of. Well fights. done, girl. Mm mm mm. Catch. <laughs> he's clever. He's handsome. You know. Mm mm mm. That's what I do. These are the things that I do. <laughs> this is not possible. Yeah, no, it's true. Huh? Um... I do these things. You never done that? Mm mm mm. Not in front of a lot of people. <laughs> Well, you want to try it? Um, no, no. Yes, there are a lot of fights at home about who you like more. Really? Yes. Does he talk about me? He... <laughs> Can you do that with the Downton Abbey? Does he talk about me? <laughs> Jeffrey, does he talk about me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, then I found out that you have yet to see Game of Thrones. I haven't seen Game of Thrones and yet. And I felt superior. What, because you've seen it or because you're married to the guy that writes it? No, because it made me feel like you might like me more. I do you, like you more. I like oh, you. You're oh, my good. favorite. Okay. Did you it's show that, business David? rules, remember? Yes. You're there. Oh. You're my favorite. Right. Right. I, do, I was just asking if your husband was well. Hey, the la you know the last time I was here, you were here? The last time I was here was last night, but the last time you were here... <laughs> I was having that big fight with Katie Couric that wasn't really a fight that the tabloids made up. Yes, I, I took a red eye with her and we slept next to each other. Spoons? Spoons. Jeez. Any pictures? <laughs> really? Did, like, did you, did you, like, cuddle up with Katie Gurick? We Gurek? were right next to each other, and we, 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 it was really cozy. It's, it's, I'll bet. And she actually... Did she is, talk about me? She's still a little angry. At me? And she's just bewildered by the, by, by the feud. We didn't really have a feud, though. They made it up in the tabloids. And I, Katie Couric's my friend. I like Katie Couric. We ah. talk all the time. We have sex nearly every day. <laughs> all right, the last bit isn't true, but I was just, you know, I was adding it on for a show business effect. <laughs> <laughs> I really love you. I do really? really? Just no, love I don't you. know if you do. It's I show really business. do. Really? No, I, I do. Really? <laughs> 
Is that what, what do they call that? Is it's, is it no? But it's a crochet. A, crochet. Yes, it's kind of like croquet, but with yarn. <laughs> Did you make that? Yes, I made this. That would be great if you could. Oh. Well, you can't make yarn. No, things? I'm not. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> those people that use knives and forks. No. Ever been to Tokyo? What does that have to do with the price of eggs? Yes, I have. Did you see my show when it was on there? <laughs> Did they talk about me? Everywhere I went. This film does look good. Um, <laughs> every time you veer into a different direction, it only makes me think that I'm tanking. You're not tanking. Not with me. <laughs> no, you're not tanking. <laughs> no, it's fine. You want to see tanking? Watch the monologue. Nobody's tanking. I love your monologue. Thank you. Jeez, Louise. What's the matter? Are you schwitzing? Just a lot of. I'm probably schwitzing. You're yeah. not. You're, I don't think you are. Yeah. For a Scotsman, it's nice that you know some Yiddish. Well, I'm not Jewish, but I am Mashpuka. You're Jewish. You're Mashpuka and you're Mashugana. Ah, Mashugana, thank you very much. You're At least I'm not well. a Schlemiel. Hey! <laughs> right, we have to. Oh wait, wait. May I smell you again? No, it's nice. It's a nice smell. I'm trying to identify it. May I? Oh. Clean? Can I smell you? <laughs> Clean with a bewilderment? Clean? Let me smell you. <laughs> Yeah. No, what, what do you smell? Poo? <laughs> what is it? It's it's um it's quite sexy. It's quite sexy. Yeah, you know what it it's is? Called, uh, what is it? Well no, you tell me. No, what? it's Ode the Horse. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Amanda Bay when we come back. Different stuff, yeah. And then... Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we've arranged a selection of cups here, or mugs, that uh, Amanda can choose from because she got a list before but thought it was so crazy <laughs> that we, we got you a list. Look, there's some really good ones. What about orange? I'm, it's just not for me, orange. Really? Why? No. I don't know. I what like... about powder blue? That's nice. Mm -mm, hello? Hello, eyes? <laughs> no, all right. Uh, Purple, too ecclesiastical. Do you think it's a ooh? Uh, I'll, can I take the lot of them? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Are things not going that well here? <laughs> I'll just take this one then. What color is that? Cobalt blue. Yeah. Navy blue. I think that's royal blue. Royal blue. No, this is going keep... really well. <laughs> Are we rolling? <laughs> because... There's no rolling here, this is live. Right, right. <laughs> what the hell? Did I tell you how much I love you? Yeah, you did. But you didn't back it up with anything. <laughs> <laughs> whilst, whilst I gave you a cup. <laughs> All right. Well, we're out of time. You sure that's the cup you want? Oh, well, now, wait a minute. Ugh. Ugh, this is not my idea. Ugh, you ugh me? <laughs> you ugh me because of my spoka? Yeah, because of my spoka. You want this I one? I love then? you even more now. Right, I, I actually like this a one. A Scottish Jew, what could be better? You know, there is a big Jewish community in Glasgow. Yeah, sure there is. There is. No, there really is. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll head over there. <laughs> okay. I like these two. Yeah. One is fine. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I've, you know what CBS stands for? Cups be expensive. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
is an Academy Award winning songwriter. He's the subject of a documentary film, Still Alive, which is available on DVD. Take a look at this. <laughs> Paul Williams, everybody! Paul, oh, the, the price of eggs in Tokyo is 250 yen. Have you been to Tokyo? No, I just looked it up online. Did you really? I, well, I was watching you and you were talking about the price of you. Know, I wasn't talking I about the price. I've been to Tokyo. I buy my clothes in Tokyo. And in, in Japan, I'm a medium. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, have nothing to say about that. This now. That would be a first. Wait a minute. This is Where's a... the bone patrol? Bone patrol are not here. We can't afford them all the time. Oh, this is sad because Jeff and I used to write songs. We wrote a yeah. song. We wrote a song called Out of the Closet, which was about his, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. his skeletons in your closet, and some are out of them these days. Right, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeff, nothing closeted about Jeff, absolutely. Hey. Hey, I see. You were asking. Why is it called Still Alive? Well, it was not my idea, you know, because Still Alive was, you know, was, I thought, my ego was like, oh, my God, I, you know, I mean, some people still know who I am. I, everybody like... knows you. You got standing ovation when you walked out there, and these people are not... Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I have to tell you, well, I, I, was, I was all over the place in the 70s. I was there in the 80s. I stayed home, and I alphabetized my canned goods, and, and this guy <laughs> disappeared and all. But I have to tell you that when he said, I want to call it Still Alive, you know, first of all, Sobriety changed my life, and I'll, I, this March 15th, I'll celebrate 23 years of continuous that is sobriety. That's sensational. So, sensational. You know, so, so I kind of disappeared, and, and there's nothing to be more pathetic than some little old man going, please, sir, may I have another cup of fame? It's just disgusting. So when this guy, when Steve Kessler said, I want to do a movie about it, I went, e, I'm not sure. But then I thought I could write a song at the end called Still Alive that would tell, you know, and, and there's a bridge in the song that goes, and someone asked me once, where do we go when we arrive? If you're lucky, when it's over, the dreamer's still alive, a blessed mystery. For sweeter souls did not survive. It's about the fact that, that you know, we're very, very, very lucky, those of us who have survived our addiction and all. There was a lot of people that yeah. did not. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 So... So you, you went away from fame when you get sober? That's well, you know, you know I, I mean, I did, 40, I did 48 Tonight Shows, I remember six. And, and, you know, the thing, because I was a little media whore. I loved that camera on me. When you put down a couch and a camera, Paulie was there like, hello, America. And it was just, you know, it was, I was as outrageous as Jeff. I just loved the camera. <laughs> and, I, you know, incidentally, mm -hmm. you seem to love the camera. You have a tendency to want to get really close to the camera. It's only because I can hit it when I I'm am close to it. I am thinking that maybe you had abandonment issues or something. You want to get close to the people and you want them to feel you and sense you so you get as close to the camera. You make me sound like a needy uh, chair. No, no. Yeah. Well, you are. <laughs> Maybe I am. Yeah, exactly. Are you in therapy? Let's do some therapy right okay. now. Okay, wait a minute. What? If we're going to talk about you. No, we're not. We're going to talk about you. No, I'm the therapist. I, no, but I know. But here's, here's what I'd like to say about you. Uh-oh. Uh, one of the m most impressive things I ever saw on television was there was, a, this, there was a, a young singer who had a lot of, a girl who had a lot of problems with drugs and alcohol and was crazy, and you kind of made fun of her one night on television, and then the next night... You came out and you did one of the most classy, spectacular things I've ever seen. You kind of, you made a living amends about that. You talked about the fact that what you had done, you wished you hadn't done. It was one of the more elegant things I've ever seen. And it's, been, and it's probably more important to tell you that than to promote this sneaking picture, which I'm really proud of. But it was a really classy Thank you very much. Very, very, very classy thing to do. Thank you. You have a really tough time with a compliment, don't you? Yes, it's making me very uncomfortable, I have to tell you. 
Do you take compliments because you were well? Flirting do, with do, do, Amanda, but with me, you just keep getting further. Well, you, you, I, when you say all these nice things to me, I think, well, because I've been in Hollywood for a long time, I think his hand is in my trouser pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's, but of course it's not. It's just no, it's that not. I've become yeah. jaded, of well, course, because I've been here for. It's, it's, you, it's, haven't you ever become jaded by no, Hollywood? No, you know, what I have, uh, I, I have, you know, I operate. I'm writing a book called Gratitude and Trust. I mean, I, my my choo choo runs on. I'm, I'm co-writing a book with a lady named Tra Tracy Jackson about gratitude and trust because that's what my my choo choo runs on. Your choo choo? My choo choo runs on the rails of gratitude and trust. I am a different man today than I was 23 years ago. Yeah, I, I believe you, but you still have a choo choo. <laughs> Don't you have a choo choo? You have a horsey, you don't I have got a horsey, choo -choo. yeah, I do have a horsey. That's true, I got yeah, a horsey yeah, and a yeah, robot. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. true, actually. But, it's, yeah. but there's, I mean, there's footage in this that is really hard for me to watch. There's footage of me hosting Merv Griffin when I am just, you know, somebody is using my body on television. It's just, I'm not in there. It's, See, I'm very glad I, I wasn't really filmed when I was drinking. It, it would have been... Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, read, I, I read your book, I bought your book, and I read your book. You bought it? I, I bought okay, your Thanks book. very much indeed, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, I did, I did. And I bought it long before I was booked on the show. Oh, yeah, nice. I, I did. I bought it when it came out. Really? I did. The hell, man. Yeah, I could have got you a free you know, one. Yeah, I know. No, no, it's all right. You know. Well, I'm very excited to see this, actually, Paul. Is it, uh, you find it, I mean, is the rainbow connection in this? There's, uh, you know what, there's little bits and clips of, of uh, a lot of shows. There's bits and pieces of a lot of songs and all. And my, my history with, with the Muppets was, I mean, Jim Henson was the greatest guy I ever worked with in my yeah, life. Yeah, he was a just, genius, genuine genius. Yeah, I uh, a brilliant, brilliant guy. And, and uh, is that a true story about Jim Henson? Somebody told me this, that when he was 10 years old, he made his first frog puppet out of his, mo his mother's old green coat. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about that. You know, and when I was drinking, I would have said yes, and it, you know, because you know, when I was drinking, I would have lied to you, but the fact of the matter is I don't You don't know. know. Yeah, don't it's know. okay to say know. you don't know. I but it's not, I'm not comfortable with it, though. Really? <laughs> it's amazing, because you're such a lovely, lovely, friendly man. Thank and you. With lots of nice qualities. I'm trying to compliment wow, thing on you. Really see really how nice. you're... you Are you actually okay with this? Yeah, yeah, you're, with it, yeah. I can see you beginning to be okay. No! Ha-ha! Ah, see? <laughs> You know, I've always, whenever I used to do the puppet things yeah. here, uh, I always wanted to do a Rainbow Connection, and we could never afford it. Well, you know what? I, uh, you, you know, so I, can I, I have it? Now? You, if you want to do it, if you want to sing it tonight, I would actually pay for you singing it. And the fact is, I, I could probably make some sort of an arrangement. I have this day gig. You know, I am president and chairman of the board of ASCAP, the American Society of Composers, Authors, and oh. Publishers. Thank you. And as passionate as I am about recovery, I am equally as passionate about music creators rights, film creators rights, you know, people like yourself who give yourself, give your lives from the very center of your being to providing entertainment for people deserve to be able to make a viable living with your work and that's what I'm fighting for for young songwriters even as we speak. God bless you. Paul Williams everybody. Secretariat, Jeff's trapped down a well? <laughs> you want me to go with you? But Jeff's right there! <laughs> That's not Jeff! Who's that? Someone, I don't know! We don't know who that is! So I'll come with you and we'll rescue the real Jeff? Show me the way!